All right. Um, well, you say we wrap up here with a, a trucking song. I had a real nice looking fat girl. She was good to me. Then I ran off with you and left her in Tennessee. I miss her home style cooking, flapjacks on the grill, drinking beer in the morning and eating all kinds of pills. I fell for your tempting body, your long smooth auburn hair, but I never saw the raging bitch that was hiding under there So I'm on a southbound Kenworth Back to Jacksonville Eating quaaludes with the driver and a wide assortment of pills 400 miles of blacktop between Kansas City and her but tomorrow morning about sundown My hand will be up her skirt Holding on to a pound of flab While she eats her dessert Beer running down my chin While I talk to her Uncle Bert My time with you's been fun now so don't be misunderstood You're like a fine-tuned sports car But I can't afford what's under your hood So I'm heading back to Jacksonville With a trucker who has VD Patent leather cowboy boots And a heck of a nice CB My big gal will have my breakfast Say, honey, I fixed your bath She'll scrub the dirt from between my toes And then help me with my math I had a real nice looking fat girl She was good to me and I'm glad to be back with her here in Tennessee. This is a uh, snapping turtle, and I uh, I found him in my frog pond, or her, uh, about three days ago. And I got a uh, a net to fish it out with, get it out of the pond. But I had three pretty nice bullfrogs in there, which are now missing. So part of a snapping turtle's diet is frogs, uh, fish. So they're not too good to have in your pond if you like uh, if you like your frogs and your fish. Stuff's driving me crazy. I might find a cure for it in America. All right, I thought I would uh, show you the, the one of the frogs I've been trying to save from the uh, from the snapping turtle. So this is a bullfrog. There's probably uh, one, two, 
oh, I'm going to say four or five little ponds around the farm here. Uh, one I put in myself, the others are just naturally formed ponds. And uh, so these are uh, some of my frogs. I like my frogs. I like the snapping turtle too. He's cool, but I lose a lot of frogs. So I'm trying to separate them in different ponds around the place. But those snapping turtles can, can cover a lot of ground. You can move them maybe across a four acre field, put them in another little pond. And by the next day, I had one come all the way back up. So there's one of my bullfrogs that I'm trying to save. So I, I caught him last night and put him in an aquarium. Uh, to try to put him in a separate spot today than where the snapping turtle's been. So there you go. Look in the camera. The frog. Yeah, cool feet. Okay, I'm going to put you in the pond. You can see if it turns into a prince. Bullfrogs are the largest frogs in North America. All turtles are reptiles. A frog is an amphibian. They're um, they're a pretty neat animal, pretty interesting. And as I'm uh, keeping it around a little bit, I'm learning more and more. They can, and as I'm uh, keeping it around a little bit, I'm learning more and more. They can cover a lot of territory. And I've been feeding him. <laughs> he ate a whole can of sardines yesterday. So I'm going to try to find a different puddle further out here on the edge of the farm to put it where it, you know, hopefully it'll stay separate than my frogs, which you might make it back up here to my pond. Adult snapping turtles are very aggressive and never become tame. They have very powerful jaws and can inflict serious wounds. <coughs> Can't shake this stuff. Yeah, it sounds pretty bad. <coughs> I can't wait to get to America. <laughs> that will be good, I'll tell you. Oh, land of the free. Yeah. Yes, sir. Trying to get it to snap here a few times, just to show you um, how fast they are. They're extremely fast with that snap. <laughs> and uh, very powerful jaws. Very powerful jaws. Really not an animal to be toying around with. Uh, of course, you've seen me hunt rattlesnakes, copperheads, and other animals I shouldn't be messing with. Uh, Snapping turtles are completely banned in California. There are about 220 species of turtles. Snapping turtles do not become tame. <laughs> they don't get uh, to know a person. Uh, the little ones aren't too bad, but the larger ones are starting to get large, mid-size like this. Um, once they start turning into adults, they never become tame. Snapping turtles are very tough and can survive in environmental conditions that would kill most other turtles.
Now if you notice, I'm not holding him by his tail. I've got him by the shell, uh, which is the proper way to hold one. You really shouldn't be doing this at all. Um, they have, like I said, powerful jaws that, uh, as you can see, I've got him by the shell, not the tail. You don't want to pick him up by the tail, which you have probably seen me do before, though. But they, uh, they can remove fingers. So you don't, uh... Alright, I'm going to take you to a further mud hole on the edge of the farm where you can stop eating my frogs. Ever wonder how a turtle can return to the same area? Well, turtles orient themselves by the sun's position in the sky. There's his uh, feet that I was telling you about. Pretty, pretty cool, real scaly. Pretty neat. Turtle is a reptile. You're a reptile. I think you're sicker than I am. How much further is it to America? Uh, they got a big statue or something out front. Yeah. <coughs> oh, <achoo>! <coughs> like I said, now this is the, you really don't have to have the glove, but <laughs> it's an added precaution. Especially when you're filming animals like rattlesnakes, copperheads, um, snapping turtles. Sometimes you get involved in paying attention to what you're saying to the camera or watching the camera. Uh, we almost had a guy uh, that was hunting with me, rattlesnakes, almost got bit like that one time, just explaining about the snake. And sometimes you get paying attention to how you're coming across on camera or in, and lose concentration of where that thing's head is. <laughs> and they can just turn around and bite you. But uh, there you go. And that is, like I said, the uh, that is the proper way to hold a snapping turtle, but you really should not be holding uh, a snapping turtle. All right, I'm going to take you out and let you go in the pond. Enough acting for you today. Always wash your hands after handling any turtle. The salmonella organism lives naturally in the shells of turtles, especially aquatic turtles. <laughs> Achoo! <laughs>